Let's see the earlier influences on Karl Marx. In 2018, UBAC asked a question on sociological imagination. It is a theory which is given to us by Charles Red Mills. Hello friends, my name is Dr. Huma Hassan and will continue our series of lectures on social thinkers. So before we start about the concepts and theories which is given to us by Karl Marx, let's see the earlier influences on Karl Marx. It is highly imperative to understand the biographies of social thinkers before reading about their theories. In fact, in 2018, UBAC asked a question on sociological imagination. It is a theory which is given to us by Charles Red Mills. So Charles Red Mill is saying that in order to have comprehensive understanding of society, we need to have a combination of biographies and histories. It means that the social context is important. At the same time, it is also important that individual experiences. Therefore, I believe that when we approach to any social thinkers, we need to understand what was their socialization process. Who were the people who helped them to construct their ideologies? We know that, that nothing is constant, everything gets changed and this, this in fact is a philosophy of sociology which says that we do understand and read that how society remains static and how it gets changed. So we know that any thinker's perspective or ideologies cannot be a product of one day and it cannot be its own analysis only. So we create our social thoughts by having various life experiences. So on this notion, on this important point, let's start the influences on Karl Marx. Let's read them. So the full name of Karl Marx is Karl Heinrich Marx. He was born in Trier, Prussia, nowadays Germany. He was born in 1818 and he died in 1883. During this time, what was happening in Germany? So Germany was going through political turmoil. Karl Marx's father was a successful lawyer. And his father was highly influenced by the writing of Immanuel Kant and Voltaire. So, you can see that he was raised by a father who was himself influenced by a thinker called Kant and Voltaire. So, they both are Enlightenment philosophers. So Kant was writing in 17th century, so as Voltaire, okay, so he both were writing into the 17th, uh, you can say, century and we know that they both influenced rationality. They both argued that it is important to have reasons and they both plead for religious tolerance. When we are analyzing society as per their thought process, we need to base our analysis on scientific evidences, on rationality rather than on dogmatic beliefs. So Karl Marx was raised by a father like him who were influenced by enlightenment thought process. His mother was from Holland and she was a Jew. So both of Karl Marx's parents was Jews and later uh, Karl Marx's father has to accept Christianity, he, he baptized for it. So baptism 
is a process in which you publicly accept uh, Christianity or you know this religion. So you have to go through certain rituals. Karl Marx too had baptized. Okay, and uh, and and I think that is the period which we have to know that the Jews, the Jews philosophy must have given that radical ideas to question, I would say, religion. So you can say that because of this uh, Jews background. he come to know and he might have exposed to lot of prejudices and discrimination and that is the role of religion we can say we see later on in the writing of karl marx where he become radical so from the beginning only he he had that influences on him where you can say that he rejected the functional role of religion So Karl Marx studied in uh, the University of Bonn, and the culture there at the University of Bonn it was again rebellious. So University of Bonn, and it was famous for its rebellious characteristic. Then later he studied in the University of Berlin, and here we can see the major impact on Karl Marx. Here he studied laws and philosophy, and he got his major influences on his mindset. That is through the writing of Hegel. So we can say that the first important impact on Karl Marx's mind was from Hegel. and he himself known to be as young hegelian and later you can say that he got really politically active and he started talking and he started understanding about the philosophies in fact he joined a very famous club called doctor club now this doctor club was led by uh bruno bo and they all question christianity so bruno bo question christianity and uh, they were talking about the relevance of religion and the practical understanding of religion so from here you can say that he become more radical and he started questioning religion more and karl marx submitted his phd in the university of jena the second major impact on karl marx we can say is coming from another philosopher called feuerbach so second influence was from ludwig feuerbach so here you can say the book called the essence of christianity and ludwig make a very promising concept and he says that what is philosophy for if philosophy is to bring solutions to the mankind we know that we need to address to the materialism so the materialistic condition is more important to ludwig and this major thought process had a major you can say an important influence on karl marx's thought process then this is this is this is the two philosophers you can see is actually responsible for karl marx's major theory that is dialectical materialism or historical materialism by 1842 he worked in uh, in newspaper as a journalist and later he become uh, editor in that newspaper so the newspaper name is roen 
when she is doing okay and as a editor he was obliged to write many editorials and so that newspaper was writing about capitalist about economical political issues so karl marx was started writing about these problems and then later he moved to paris and there he wrote uh, various good important works and then there after that he met frederick engel and they both together wrote about various important works right and then you will see that karl marx had to leave paris and then he has to move to england now in england and in his later life he got introduced to the ideas of adam smith and david ricardo so then the third major influence on karl marx is coming from political economics such as adam smith and david ricardo so you can say the you know the adam smith the scottish enlightenment philosopher adam smith and david ricardo he do understand that how it is really important to see the economics and politics in the same era in the same line so this is how you would see in the later part in the later lectures you will see that how karl marx has framed his ideas so from the beginning he got enlightenment outlook because of his parents definitely and then you would see that how hegel has influenced him then later ludwig and then adam smith or david ricardo so karl marx is a combination of various philosophies he also had lot of impact of these thinkers so i like to end my lecture here to explain this vital point that when you read any thinkers on their philosophies try to read their influences because these influences will give you an important outlook to understand that on which on which particular point these thinkers are referring to okay so this will give you in depth clarity and for this you do not have to read too much it's just the people name you should be knowing the way i have told you about hegel and ludwig and adam smith and then you need to correlate their thinking and their ideas when you are reading karl marx theories such as alienation class struggle historical materialism mode of production it will give you everlasting clarity that will help you to write unique answers you can always start anything when so ever question come on karl marx you can always start your introduction by the influences on him i hope you got the point which i'm trying to explain here that when we are reading about thinkers we need to understand influences on them so thank you so very much take care